So if you could picture your dream garage, it might look a little bit like this. So here we are at Classic and Sports Car Centre, West Napton in North Yorkshire, for a look around some of the fantastic classics they have on offer. I mean, It's wow. an absolute treasure trove. We've got everything from pre and post-war stuff to MGBs, Fords, just, if you like cars in any capacity, there is something here for you. So let's go and have a look inside. Check this out. But first, our friends at Lancaster Insurance are running monthly giveaways. You can win all sorts, from experience days to tools, restaurant vouchers and tech. So check the video description for full details and to enter. Two rallying British icons, Jeff. We'll start with the Mini, because that's a bit of you. Yeah, 1965, Mark I Mini Cooper in classic tartan red with a black roof. This one's had a few Cooper S upgrades, got the gold brocade interior, the lovely deep dish steel rims. Really, really nice car. And what about this? 1962 Healy 3000 Mark IIa. Absolutely gorgeous. Red, obviously the staple colour for Healy 3000. This one's got a nice little roll bar just subtly tucked away in there. So if you want to get into a bit of motorsport, it's a perfect starter place for it in the Healy rallying scene, which does still exist. There's still people doing it, yeah. but you've still got proper seat belts in there. You've still got normal leather seats. So you can equally have some great fun with it on the road. And if you can get around the slightly brutal driving experience, these are great fun, they're fantastic. Yeah, hard top as well, so a bit of practicality there. Yeah, this is a really nice example. They're only going up in value, and you know what? Love these. Absolutely stunning. So, which would you rather? Which would you rather? Oh, that's hard for a, for a mini nut. Mm. Probably the Healy on this oh. one, and I can't believe I've just said that. I can't believe you just said that. Well, <laughs> if you're not a fan of either of these, there's more for you up here. Yeah, there is. A 1973 Triumph Toledo, which in itself is a rather sweet little thing, but this one has done 13,500 miles, Jeff, in its nearly 50 years of existence. Yeah. Absolutely remarkable. It's a lovely and straight car, that, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's just immaculate, isn't it? And oh, still got a 70s smell. <laughs> it's lovely. A proper staple of 1970s motoring. That you know, seldom seen, but this one is lovely. I, though, I rather like this. This is a Series 3. XJ6 3.4. Quite rare being a manual box. The thing I probably like about it is it doesn't have leather. It's got this sort of brown velour in it and I just think it suits it really well. You're a sucker of a velour, right? I do like velour, but it's just nicely done and, and I'm, I'm a real fan of that. Do you know what? The, just the spec on this is delightful. The fact it's a manual, the fact it's white, the velour, just that in combination. It's tasteful. Yeah. And unusually for a car of this era, being in white yet doesn't scream wedding car. No, it doesn't. No. But yeah, if you want a car for summer weddings, you won't get much classier. Absolutely. Talking of class though. You used to work for the MG Car Club, if I'm not mistaken, which means you'll know far more about this than <laughs> I will. I know a little bit about it. Yeah, it's a 1950 Y series Tourer. And uh, what a lovely looking thing it is. But what I love about Classic and Sports Car Centre is you've got this 1950 MG. And on the other hand, a 1985 Cavalier convertible. Yeah, and one that's done eight and a half thousand miles. Automatic, I mean, the interior is untouched. That's a lovely thing, isn't it? White on white, oh so 80s. Yeah, I when was the last it. time you saw anything like that? Just incredible. But if you want a white drop top from a different era, 1960 Triumph TR3A. And let me tell you a little bit about this car, Jeff. 16 year restoration. Since that restoration, it has done 800 miles. And that means that essentially, this is a freshly restored car for sale here. And it looks it, it's gorgeous. Show winning car this one, isn't it? Show winning indeed. And you know what, heart winning as well. If I had the money, I'd be, I'd be writing a check for this. I think it's gorgeous. Now, what about one of the most unusual cars in here? This is, looks like you should recognize it, but probably don't. So it's an, a 1954 Swallow Duretti and it's got all sorts of different styling cues. You can recognize it as being a British sports car, but you're not quite sure where, are you? you know? The longer you study it, I can see, but you've got bits of MGA, bits of ACA, a little bit of Triumph in there as well. It's a really curious little thing and really pretty. Yeah. Looks lovely. Really, really pretty car. Really like that. One of the standouts for me. Really, really nice. And again, indicative of the variety we'll find in here. Just incredible. Speaking of which, a bit more this way. Yeah. Now, one of my all time favorites, a Mark I Escort, but not just any Mark I Escort. It's an RS 1600, the car that started the RS phenomenon, twin cam BDA under the bonnet, big sibbies on the front. I just love it, I just love it. And this one, 
steel wheels, still got the original interior. It's a standard car, it's glorious, and I really want it. Absolutely, you know, both, both you and I can see the appeal in modifying the old classic, but that is one, as much as people love to modify Fords, leave it standard. No, oh, I love that, I love that. Just B road on a beautiful day, that would be fantastic. But if you want to take that same B road at a more relaxed pace, Alfa Romeo Julia Spider, and you know how much I love these. Yeah, this is one of your all time favorites. Isn't oh, it? just, uh, most in the video we're doing one of these, that was red, but why more unusual, it's no less stunning, is it? It's a right-hand drive, which is genuinely unusual for these cars. I mean, the hood, absolutely unmarked, the leather. I've been convinced no one's actually sat in this thing ever. I really want it. Still have the Escort, though. Ooh. I know, I know. Controversial. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you might outvote me on that one. I'm not sure. What about, though, some of the more exotic cars on offer? E-Type, Series 2, fixed head. Series 2 Roadster, Derby Bentley, XK120 on black wires. This lovely Rolls Royce, but this is, this is the one I'm really intrigued by. Yeah, tell us more. This is an Aston Martin Virage Volante. Yes, a 1995 car, originally registered to Aston Martin Lagonda, wearing that number plate AMV8. It's done 24,000 miles. It's lovely. It's just in fantastic condition. I absolutely love it. The big wide body kit, those deep dish wheels. And what a wonderful example with real provenance. Mm, love it. But more stuff over here. From one Aston to another, Jeff. 1966 DV6 Mark I. And oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's a right hand drive, matching numbers car paperwork as long as your arm, it's in the right colour, it's got a blue interior, it's got a manual gearbox, and I am just in love with yeah, it. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. I mean, dare to dream, mm -hmm. and this may well be the one for you. Oh, it's just, it is absolutely incredible. This is, I don't, it sounds naff, but this is one of those cars that really does take your breath away. It's gorgeous. Yep. But if you dream of something more humble, mm. what about this? Now, we love our classic Fords, as you know, and this one is just one of the coolest I've seen in ages. This is a real favorite. So it's a 1975 Ford Escort 1600 Sport. But the unusual thing about this, it's a four door, and they only made those for one year. And 30,000 miles on the clock, and it looks it. It is immaculate. Daytona yellow as well, which is just wonderful. Black vinyl roof, black trim, such a rarity to find a four door as well. So a remarkable car. I'm a real fan of that. From mustard to ketchup. How about this? <laughs> well, yeah. A Triumph TR6. And this one has got some provenance. Yeah, it's a X Triumph Management. A 1974 car, right-hand drive, PI model, so full fat. Couple of little upgrades to make it better for touring. So it's got the MX-5 seats, which actually suits it really they well. Look, I thought they were original from yeah, this angle. They look excellent. Yeah. A real nice summer touring car just ahead of the hotter month. So I really like that. Bit of class. These, yeah. these are just coming into their own now. Really, just love a TR6. But you know what? It's indicative of the kind of cars you get at Classic and Sports Car Centre because the variety, as you've seen, is incredible. Everything from Aston Martins, E-Types, and these two, not to mention pre-war, just Absolutely. something for everyone. It's very, very difficult in a video like this to do this place justice. I mean, there's another DB6 in here. There's countless Mark II Jags. Ford F100 pickup truck. VW Camper. In, in one of the other rooms, there's a Lotus Sunbeam. There's a Ford Sierra Cosworth. There's a Bristol 411. I mean, I could go on and on. Check out the website, see what it has to offer, and basically, we've really enjoyed ourselves, haven't we? Yeah, I think this, this, is, this is a toy box, and you know what? We are a couple of little kids with this. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you again soon.